I'd like to say a pleasant good morning to the House of Queens. We have been called, we have been chosen to do this morning service. This is Youth Sunday, the fifth Sunday in the month. And um, we will just present our word for the opportunity to be in front of you all and uh, doing what God wants us to do. Pray that it will be a blessing upon each and every one who is here with us. Welcome each and every one into the midst. Those who are on Zoom, we pray that we'll be blessed by the service. And uh, a special good morning to Sister Celia. We'll be um, appreciating her in this service. We'll be incorporating her in this service. Pray that God will continue to bless you. Um, we will move um, further on in this service. We will get to that part. But just keep in mind, Sister Celia is going to be appreciated uh, today. And we hope that God will continue to bless her. Uh, as the song was being played, um, it's, it's a powerful message. You know, it's, it's a, the, I would say some it's a little bit off for what we wanted it to sound like, but the message is no greater love than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Jesus considers us as his friends, and we truly, truly have to be grateful for a friend who just laid his life down for people like us. And I have to say people like us because we are not perfect. We hope that in due time God will make us, we will strive to perfection. So um, at this present time, we will commence our service by singing hymn number 89. Uh, hymn number 89, you all know it is a common meter. Uh, all hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels shall be forth. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. From the main matters of our God, who from his waterfall, extol the stem of Jesse's blood and crown him Lord of all. Just to the last verse. Who that with yonder sacred throne, we at his feet a fall. Join in the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. Let's all rise and sing to the honor and glory of God. In number 89, come on, Peter. All hail the power of Jesus' name that you will just talk with God. All hail the power of Jesus' name that the Lord bring
Yes. From him come him. Lord, all, 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 all.
else? Yes, you have to go forth. And you have yes. to, as the husband, I like to say, you have to go forth. You know, um, it's a little bit hard when you when you know sometimes there's things in front of you, but Christ is in front. That is right. So we, we continue to bless God for His worship, and at this time you make a slight change. I don't know if system is cool. I don't know if you are able, but we'd like to hear your voice just within the words pray that God would be with you. Continue to bless you. To bless you. We'd like to include you into the service because it's just two of us, but we like to add a, a third. So yes. pray that God would be with you as you come and do what I'll be just for you. I'll let her come and she will see what she has. Oh, okay. Yes, that's why. It's short so notice. She came in. Um, she came in after we started. Um, not after we started, but we couldn't get up. So, yeah. but in all things, we continue to praise God for His goodness. Yes, I didn't want to see you. Yes, yes.
just want to say how good God is, the goodness of God. God is great. Great and exceedingly great is God. We thank him for all what he has done, what he has doing and still about to do in my life and in my family life. We know how great God is. We put everything in his hands and he will deal with whatever is the situation. So I just thank him for his mercy, his goodness, and his grace. Have a song for serious you are my all in all. Because we know that God is our all in all. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewels. Lord, to give up I'll be. You are my all in all. Taking my sins, my cross, my shame. Rising again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. But when I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you
thank you, Sister King. Yes. We we'll continue to bless you. Yes. You know that you will, you will miss when you are, you know, you have to go to, um, is it Antigua? Yes, she had to fly out to Antigua and she was sorely missed, I would say. But it's nice to hear your voice and have you back safely. Most importantly, safely. We take for granted we flying over the air and you know, we just in our plane, but and they don't know, they don't know what is going on around you. You can't tell what is going on around you. But God alone knows and he's the one who keeps you. And he brought you back to so we continue to bless God for you. And thank you for that rendition and pray God that you continue to bless your voice because you know, singing is not an easy thing. I'm going to tell you that singing is not an easy thing. They get up here and sing, not an easy thing. So, best word for your presence here with us. Okay, at this time, we'll negate the chant because that is our song right there. That's the message right there. So, at this time, we'll move right along to our exhortation. And at this time, it will be done by no lesser person than Sister Pushel Mike. And I say no lesser person in the youth group because she pulled it and so no lesser person than Sister Pushel Mike. At this time, that I will mean, God will continue to be with her as she comes.
It's not until the bigger issues manifest that we go back and pay attention to what the individual was trying to see. The first half of 1 Corinthians 10 13 says that there is no temptation that takes you, but that which is common to man, that God will allow you to face, right? But let's be honest with ourselves for a moment. There are some sins that most of us know that we will never explicitly indulge in. Some are listed in the scripture that we just read. So Christian married folks know that they are not supposed to be in a relationship with anyone else but our spouses. Single Christians know that we are not to engage in sexual activity before marriage. That's just how it is. Most Christians know that we are not supposed to create our own imagination of God and fix it in concrete or wood and worship it. Most of us know that we're not supposed to kill another human being, or I hope so. A lot of us know, hopefully, that we are supposed to participate in wild party, especially the ones that involve alcohol and inappropriate behavior. Kind of what like chance the rapper is being dragged for now. If you don't know what to do, just go on with it. It's everywhere. And further to the last point, this is why Christians don't participate in the street parade and fets that is, you know, that is associated with alcohol. Right? So that's why we don't do that. It contains a lot of alcohol and it be very that's why we don't do that. Right? Of Right. So, in case you didn't know now, you know, didn't know before you know now. And we could have a conversation about white culture and history and how white supremacy plays a part on the idea of propriety. But at the end of the day, God said what he said. For most of us, once we check those boxes, that's about enough. And we'll never admit it to another soul. But we have been taught to compartmentalize these sins into the easy sin category. We know that we will never touch them. Whether we want to attribute them to the grace and the influence of God in our lives, or the pending shame of church and society, there are some sins that we will never willingly participate in. However, there are some sins in that passage that float just on our radar. Sins that we participate in, in ignorance at times, that are subtler, just like the blues in the commission. So let's go back to adultery. As I mentioned, married Christians know that they will, or should, never date someone else while they have a spouse. However, in Matthew 5, 27 to 28, Jesus narrows the definition a little further. Simply looking at a woman, or man, it doesn't happen either way, and having inappropriate sexual thoughts about them is considered adultery. Imagine you're not physically doing anything, but yet Jesus said that our very thoughts need to be regulated. Or else is a sin. Hatred is another one. Most of us cause only recognize our hatred when it manifests as an obvious of right, which is supposed to be another easy one, right? However, it stems from little frames of moments. Someone does something that really, really irritates us, and we let it pass without pure forgiveness because we don't want to seem naggy or problematic or bothersome. That irritation builds and grows and becomes resentment, and we make a claim to our friends and our families about it, but it never really ebbs or goes away. And if you're like me, who is somebody, someone who is not necessarily a passive but somebody who is non-confrontational, we dare not limit to the attention of the other person. That festers into something larger than we can handle, and soon we cannot stand the sight of the person. Mm -hmm. But the thing about hatred is that it makes us feel better about ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is almost cathartic or therapeutic because it deifies us just a little. So we indulge in it, and we let it sit, and before we know it, we explode anyway. The passage mentioned jealousy and envy, and often we mix up the two. No fault of our own since they are very close, but, because, but it is important to know the difference. Jealousy is when you're worried that someone is going to take what you have. Envy is when you want what someone else has. However, these two emotions start on a very low board. It's the needling you feel when the crowd is clapping just a little too long for someone else in the spotlight. Or when you look at somebody's work and realize you will never be able to create something like that on your best day. We saw this with Cain and Abel all in Genesis. Jealousy and envy come from two places. Insecurity and an person. You feel that what you have is not enough to keep up with the sainted Joneses or to compete. The thing is, while it is a race of a running, 
it is not a competition. We have to keep that in mind. Selfish ambitions are born out of pride. All of us want to believe we know what is best, especially when we get past a certain age. We begin to pat ourselves on the back really loudly, and soon it's no longer about God, or even about people to be very honest. It becomes about what we can accomplish. You begin fitting yourself into the spotlight without even realizing that you're doing it. By now, some part of us are saying, thank God that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> but that's just it. That's what makes it a subtle sin. We never feel like we're the ones doing it. But if we sit with ourselves for a moment, we'll find that we have been participants in these sins more often than we do. And that requires honesty. Yes. All these behaviors come from not guarding our hearts. And heart in the biblical sense is made up of your mind, your soul, your spirit, and your emotional understanding. So we must be very careful about the thoughts and emotions that we allow to thrive. Notice that I never said how to said thrive, because we are in a tabernacle of flesh, and we will always have these thoughts that do not align with what God has outlined for us till the day we die. That's just how it is, is an unfortunate side effect. The issue comes in with us not acknowledging that the thought was had in the first place, and then bringing it to God right away. In Bible study, we are studying the account of David and I urge and then who do not in my study right now to join us because it is very eye-opening, enlightening, all the good stuff. Um, the next session is on May 10th, I believe, and the first six or seven parts are on YouTube, so you can look at it and then come and join us and have a discussion with us. And through Bible study, we're talking about David being a man after God's own heart. And he did a lot of wonderful things. He really sounds, you know, he almost got to Lily Temple. He, for that was for what he did, David and Goliath thing. And yet, an unguarded moment yep. caused him yep. to fall and basically the fall of his entire house at the time, right? And you would think the sins that he committed, namely, you know, the, the account, he he stole somebody's wife. So that's a doctrine. Well, not necessarily a doctrine in his instance because the culture was a little bit different. But he took somebody as his wife. Raped her, I would say. He decided that like, he raped her. Um, and then he she got pregnant and then he decided to kill the husband and he tried to cover it up over and over and over again, right? So that's what he did. And it was all because he was he became a little prideful, I think, because he was doing so many things in the name of the Lord. I think he forgot a little bit where his help and his strength was coming from. So he forgot in that moment. And when he was on that balcony looking at Bathsheba, he probably was really feeling himself. And he allowed his pride to get in the way for a moment, right, to the us and it snowballed into all the other things that caused him to do this big thing. Um, and the sins he committed are ones you think were avoidable, right? Because nobody here, hopefully, is planning to murder anybody. But it all started as a seed of a sin. A small sin. More importantly, these sins thrive in our lives because they come from a place of lack. A lack of, a lack of the spirit and guidance of God. First of all, most of us go on believing that God will be angry with us if we bring some not so nice thoughts or emotions that we are experiencing to Him. That is putting God in our thoughts. Yeah. God is visible for all situations, including our emotions. Yes. He is big enough to handle them. As we said before, Cain built this theory in Genesis 4. There was a builder before the actual builder. Cain was envious of his brother Abel because God had shown Abel's offering approval. Rather than improve on what he had to give him, he let his insecurity and his bitterness overcome him. Now we can think that Cain overreacted, right? Now we'll be in this position. Or but it started really, really small. And he never regulated what he felt, despite God himself coming to talk to him about this anger. Yeah. All it shows is that the devil only needs an opening. And sometimes it's a harmless opening too. If we are willing to acknowledge when we feel annoyed, or inadequate, or insecure, or hurt, God will never be able to heal you from it. 
The thing with these subtle sins is that they can very much lead to the easy sin, the easy avoidance. The Bible commands us to acknowledge him in all our ways so that he can direct our path, even the bad ways. Whether we like to accept and admit it or not, we will struggle with these feelings until we are called home, and that is why we must lean on our Savior to overcome these negative emotions when they arise. When we do ask God to come in and be our help, He swaps the feelings with the experience with some positive traits, according to Galatians 5, 22 and 23. When we allow God to guide and regulate our emotions, He gives us the ability to express agape, unconditional love to all. He gives us joy, which is long-lasting happiness, despite our circumstance. He gives us peace when we shouldn't have it. He gives us uh, long-suffering, which is an unnatural amount of patience. Like the James had. <laughs> Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and most importantly, self-control, which is discipline. Yeah. That is something that I'm struggling with. So. Uh, this can only be accessed by asking God to intervene in our lives and do with any emotion that will lead us to sin, whether we secretly consider them big or small. So, a lot of it may sound like psychological battle, but it is for us to be one, honest with ourselves, and really just accept that even though, yes, I'm saved that. You know, accepted Christ one and one. I can't have these feelings. And my my thing is is to acknowledge the feelings we had so that you can so the truth can be exposed. Right? It starts with truth. It starts with truth. And it starts with truth with yourself. The last person that you can lie to is yourself. And if you can't be sure. truthful with your own self, then you will never be free from the sins that yeah. That, that God is, is trying to warn us against. And for the most people who are when I said that they are easy sins and then they are hard sins, come on. We do categorize them that way. Let's be, let's be real. Yeah. Let's be real. We categorize them into easy sins. Like, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to not gonna get drunk. Yeah, those are the things that we call easy. But what about this stuff? That you participated and you try to excuse. Yeah, what about that? Balance. That's those two many things that just go on and let them pass and you know. So I mean it's not right to do that. All sins are level in the eyes of God, but we compartmentalize. Yes. So let's be real. And then again, we are not, and when I say we, I mean us as black people, we are not very good with expressing emotions healthily, not healthy way. Um, I think the, the one that we're really good at <laughs> expressing is anger because it's the easiest one to do. Like when you explode, that's, I mean, first of all, your mind is justified. And then, of course, you're, it's, it's, when you do it, nobody really else does anything else because everybody else is trying to retreat, go back inside. So you're free to express your anger. But everything else, when you're hurt, or when you're, you know, you know me, or all these other kind of things, you don't know how to express that. And so sometimes that manifests, manifests as anger as well. So you have to learn to compartmentalize the emotions. That starts with consulting God for helping it up. Understand the point I want you to know? Yes. Because sometimes it will manifest as something, and sometimes something deeper. Like you said, the Cain and Abel thing. When um, Cain murdered Abel, it wasn't necessarily that he just wanted to get rid of the guy. It's just that he felt so disappointed by not being accepted. He felt what he presented was the best. Right? He felt what he presented was the best. God was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. that is not enough for me at all. They can't be bringing enough for me. And I think Cain felt a little angry, hurt, hurt, is he right? Hurt? And he never bothered to say, there you go, God, you are supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? If this is not the best, what am I supposed to do? Right? Um, well, he just like all of them, you know how that ended. David, David, David let his connection get a little, a little loose. I think it wasn't completely disconnected, but it was definitely loose. And yeah, he let his guard down. And he let his stuff start to influence him a little bit. No matter how much you want to paint David as this, you know, 
Oh, holy guy. He did a lot of great stuff, but in that moment, he plucked. And, you know, if he had asked God to just continue to keep him in that connected thing, and if he had gone out to war, I would always say yes. yes. Gone out to if he had just yes. done what he was supposed to do. If he, was, if he had gone where he was supposed to go, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He shouldn't have been there. And he ended up causing himself to sin. And that's another lesson for us as well. Find yourself in the right place. Find yourself where you're supposed to be. Because you can end up hurting yourself or another. Yeah, so this is for us to just kind of check ourselves a little bit. Needless, obviously. And um, just to first be a little mindful of how we feel. How we feel. We like to say that emotions are not real. 99 percent of the times they're subjective. Subjective, you know, emotions are subjective, but they are valid. And you need to figure out where they're coming from. Right? So that you don't commit any of these subtle things. So this is short, I know, but pray that gave you a lot to think about and to practice will be so God bless you.
we got we got a plate of food and um, I will say I will say this plate of food was placed in front of us and we may pick and choose what we want to eat. Uh, I'll be honest, we may pick and choose what we want to eat. Um, some of it is hard to swallow. This is and this is me. I'm speaking to myself. This is hard to swallow. Some of it, and it's just it's just that it's you need to be real with yourself. At the end of the day, just be real with yourself because without without you you being real with yourself, God can't really connect with you because you would make all the excuses in the world and just try and justify yourself. So better to be real with yourself. Figure out what is going on. Figure out what is the issue, and then put it before God in prayer. Now this this is not something easy where just like you can just come out and say, well I did this and did that. No. It's, it takes some it takes some sitting down and some time with yourself. Genius. And and some of it is hard because you sit sometimes you sit by yourself and then try and play that tape yes. back up for India for everyone games again. Yes. Sit down and replay that tape. Some of it you hear it and you're saying, no man. Me do that. Me when uh, will do that and you're studying. If that can't come from me. Yeah. And as I say, it's hard to swallow, but it's good. It's very good as a Christian to sit and check yourself. Because if you check yourself, then then you know that you stand, you know where your standing is with God. You can't judge anybody after that. In my opinion, after you check yourself and you understand who, where you stand with God. Yeah, you, you will you will be you will be able to see and say, you know what, that person probably going to do something that I don't do. And you, and you can't pass judgment on it. So uh God bless you again, Sister Fisher, for bringing that word to us. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we pray that God will continue to bless her and um, continue to give her that that spiritual wisdom. Yeah. Because don't mind don't mind she looks small so she has God is blessing come with that wisdom. Eh? Yes, so yes. and as she had said, Bible study, very important. It it comes, it, it comes again each and every time in the service. You notice that it keeps coming back. So it's not just it's not just for us to sit at home and just be taught, but we're learning and we be incorporating it into our lives and practicing it. And every message has come back so far. Eh? You notice that every message that in some way or fashion has come back. So we continue to bless God for his goodness. And uh, at this time, we'll not make a slight change, but we'll go into the segment where we are acknowledging Sister Celia's Wilson Simpson. I think that's the correct one. Huh? Sister William Simpson, sorry. Um, we acknowledge her now at this time. Um, her birthday went on, that was Friday. Friday was her birthday. That was her I don't know if you want me to say it. Let me just stop. Let me stop. So birthday was on Friday. We bless God for her seeing another year in her life. We continue to ask God for a blessing, blessing upon her life. At this time, I would like to ask our member of the congregation to come up and just say a few words and bring greetings. Just on behalf of the church, I should say. Yeah. So anyone at this time? Just bring greetings. Just bring greetings. Yeah. Yeah, I think it should be proper. I think it should be proper. I be thankful to Almighty God for just being in His presence. And um, God is awesome. God is awesome. At this time, I uh, have been moved to bring greetings and to. Uh, Encourage sister Celia. I don't know what you're doing or what you did, but those of us who was here long enough to know you will know that you had. To be doing something that pleased God. Yes. Had to be doing something that pleased Almighty God. You see Sister Celia coming up there and walking up there and sometimes you, have, you say what? Like here, what is the again? 
that's true victim. Yes. Yeah. But don't let us give God thanks. Yes. It's a stroke victim. Yes. Talking about lose the power of speech. Yes. 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 We serve an awesome God, you know? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And when we talk about celebrating a birth date, that is what we were told. That day is what they told us that we were born on that day. And we have no reason to doubt because we was not there. They may be right. We were there, but we didn't know. We were right. So we were innocent. Yes. So we can't say that. that. But when we feel the rocking of the body, it tells us we're somewhere within that bracket. Sister Celia, we want to thank God for you. Yes. We want to thank God for how you encourage believers. Yes. Yes. You don't know, you don't know. Just your mere presence in yes. presenting yourself in the house of God and not looking for attention. That encourages us. Yes. To walk ahead. Mm -hmm. Sister Christian, you don't know how powerful that message is. According to you, you may not be a brother bike, you may not be a brother master, you may not be a brother fan. But when the word of God goes forth, what it goes forth to do? To tell you to check yourself. We thank you for your for God keeping you all these years. All these years. God said, three score and ten, and if by reason of strength there is four score, yet there is labor and sorrow. But God has been watching over you. And if I don't remember nothing about you, I remember little as much when God is in the business. That is a powerful statement to make and a powerful message. That message will go with me yeah. until God called me home. Yeah. Little is much when God is in the business. Yeah. We thank God for you. As you celebrate your birthday. I know you is one who knows that tomorrow belongs to Almighty God. And you see today, you saw last week, Friday. Every day now, you're living as if it's your last day. Why? Because we don't know when and we don't know how. I always tell people, you came in with a date, but on the side of that date, have a date to go. Your problem come when you don't recognize that you have to go. We praise God. We sing happy birthday for you. That is good. But we are thankful to Almighty God that is a source of inspiration yes. to other believers. Yes. Your life is not in vain. Somebody say, if I could help somebody. If I could help somebody else, I pass along the way. That my living will not be in vain. Each and every one of us could sing that song and ask God to help somebody. It's not about you. Sister Koshan said it's not about you. When you get to know that and feel comfortable about lying to your own self, you can't please nobody. Lying to your own self? You're telling yourself, you're, you're telling yourself, you know it is not so. And you're lying to your own self? We thank God we have a, a mother. Sister Celia, well done. And let me tell you something, let me give you a guarantee. God has kept you all these years. He wouldn't leave you now. Just continue to do what you're doing. And God, 
It's not going to leave you in a while. I know you have a, 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 a statement that says Satan will make the last blow at the gate. <laughs> My God says who? Behold. No demon or no devil can't take them out. So you're in a good hand. You could celebrate your birthday and you could tell people that I live and I know that God is alive and well. God bless you. Uh, my God bless you. He said all that we were feeling and yes. you know usually when you come up and you will try to be some kind of you know speaker you know, you try to say in a certain way and thing. They don't come on the right way most of the time. So I think he spoke for all of us. And it is from the heart, Sister Celia. We know that um, God has been with you through thick and thin. Um, you know, sometimes you, you take for granted. You're coming up there and you just come in the church, you know. And you feel good and you jump up and think. But you look around at all the different people and different faces. You have different struggles, you know. So, Amen. So, so, Amen. so while you may be strong that you may have the strength and you come in and you feel that it's just you it's not you because sister Celia come in here she she could come in she could um say say um and i'll come in here too yeah no foot no no foot no but this no but that no but no you can't you and in my case i can make an excuse so sister Celia continue to talk about it but i might continue to do what you have been doing because you want to see this please with what you are doing because you are still here with us. Yes. So we continue to bless God's name for your presence here and uh, continue, to, continue to be an inspiration to us. Yeah, that's, that's, that's most important. Be an inspiration to us and um, God will continue to bless you in your endeavors. Also, didn't, but I might not say, but Sister Celia has been here singing for us many, many, yes. many years yes. in yes. choir yes. and it's always a blessing to hear her voice. So that as well. So sometimes we yeah, as I say, sometimes we, we take for granted people that will come up and we will see them often and think. Don't take them for granted because every time they come is a blessing. So you know. Um all right, at this time we like to sing and close. Uh, our last song for well, our song for the close would be uh hymn number one oh six. I think it's appropriate just to get ourselves back in our scene. Uh, breathe on me, breath of God, fill me with life on you, that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on me, breath of God, until my heart is pure, until with thee, I will one day to do or to endure. Uh, last this, breathe on me, breath of God, so shall I never die, but live with thee the perfect life of thine guilt. That's what I said.
give you praise, we give you honor, yeah. and we give you the glory oh, that you yes. so into. Thank you, Lord, for being in your presence one more time. And thank you for your presence with us in a mighty way, yeah. as you always do. Yes, Lord. Lord, one thing we can guarantee is that you have promised to be with us, and you are in us, and whenever we gather, we know that your presence is always with us. And for this we say glory to God, glory, hallelujah. We bless your name, we magnify your name. We give you all the praise that you so deserve this morning. Father, we thank you for being with us this morning and everything that was done, all to your honor and to your glory. Lord, we thank you for your woman servant this morning, who you you, your young woman servant, Lord. Father God, we just pray that you will pour, continue to pour oh, yes. into her. Yes, yes. No, yes, 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 yes. Lord, yes. just continue to pour into her what is necessary for this time yes, for your Lord. people. Yes. Lord Jesus, she's not too young to teach even the older ones. So Father, bless her in a special way this yes. morning. Yes. Father, we thank you for the message that, that you have correct. given her to give to us. Yeah. Because so many times we sit with ourselves and, mm-hmm. and we just allow things to go on and we, oh, yeah. we, 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 we just continue and we don't take stock of things that we should be very mindful of. Yeah. And allow your Holy Spirit to just take full control of our lives. Mm-hmm. Lord, in order to please you, we have to allow you to Believe. take charge mm-hmm. of every part of us every part of us you tell us even our mind yep. have to be renewed because yep. sometimes the sin comes from in the mind even before it is committed sometimes you don't have to commit it but just your mind yeah, don't, think don't, about don't, it yeah. just the thought yep. alone is so sinful yep. so help us to check ourselves this morning yeah. help right. us to check ourselves Lord yeah. the deeds of the flesh the works of the flesh, uh, Lord Jesus, it will just send us straight to hell, yes, even as children yes, of thine. Yes. But help us, as your word said, to walk in yeah, the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Love, joy, peace, peace long, long suffering. Yeah. Oh Lord oh, Jesus, yes, all of these good things, meekness, yes. kindness, yes. gentleness, yes. all of that holiness, we have yes. to live holy life. Yes. We have to be able to please you. Yes, sir. And men have to see it too because you tell us that we are the light of the world. Yes, so our life must be different from the man in the world. Yes, Lord. So Father God, we pray that you will help us to take your words this morning. Yes. Help us to digest your words. Yes. Oh Lord Jesus, and help it to make us a better people. people. Father God, we just give you praise, thanks, honor, and glory. Yeah, Lord, not much young people, but we thank you for those that are here yeah, with us. Yeah, Lord, yeah. bless Brother Ketron. Lord, continue to work in his life. Yeah. Lord Jesus, you know you are the supplier of all of our needs. You are yep. the provider. Yep. And Father, we continue to trust and wait upon you. Yes, Blessed Lord. Lord, that whatever you have to do in his life, Lord Jesus, mm. as he meekly waits and murmurs not, Lord, you will just continue to fulfill yeah. it. Bless Sister Nicole in a special way. Young and tender, but willing, willing. To, do, willing. Willing willing to, willing. to do your bidding. Willing. Lord, we pray that you will yes, give us Lord. strength. Huh? Yeah. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will take yeah. charge and full control of, of her life. Lord, as David Lord, say, yeah. create in me a clean heart and renew yeah. the right spirit. Yeah. Lord Jesus, let us all have the right yeah. spirit this morning. Yeah. Lord Jesus, that yes, spirit Lord. of truth, love, mercy, holiness, yeah. gentleness, and goodness. Yeah. Father, just bless us and keep us all together this morning. Yeah. Bless every family that is, that is represented yes. here today, Lord. Yeah. Father, God, may you take charge of our homes. May you take charge of our situations. Yes. Lord yes. Jesus, yes. some yes. of us have some some Goliath situations in front of us, Lord. But we know you are the God. You said, Lord, we want to say just like David. I am going in the name name of the the Lord of hosts. Oh, Lord Jesus, because we know that you are the battle fighter. And you will fight for us. The battle is not ours. It's the Lord. So, yeah. Father God, we put in this situation in your hand. Lord, you yes. know what I'm talking about. That is right. And I'm putting it in your Lord, hand. Yes. And I'm leaving it here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to trust you. Lord yes. Jesus, yes. that yes. you will fix it. Yes, Lord. Because I know you're good. I know you're beautiful yes. for situation. Yes. You know? 
and I'll leave you in your hand this morning because you are more than able. You can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask for things. And I know that what man meant for evil, you can turn it around for good. Ah, you Jesus. Because you tell me all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, to them who are called according to his purpose. And I know that you're calling me for your purpose and whatever yes. the, whatever the enemy decides to do. Yeah. I know that you have all power Amen. in heaven Amen. and in earth, and I know that you can fix it. Amen. And so Father, give me the praise, the glory, the yes, honor, Lord. everything that you deserve. Yes. God bless Sister Cecilia this morning yes, in a Lord. special yes, way. Lord. Thank you for blessing her to see another year. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. We know that your life has not been a bed of roses. Oh, you didn't promise us that, but you say that your grace is sufficient. Oh, and we are seeing that you are yes, doing it. Yes. And Father God, we pray that you, Lord Jesus, you said in your word, you will get beautiful ashes. You know, I look at your servant this morning. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you that you can beautify situations yes, in our lives. Yes, thank yes, you for yes. lifting us up. Yes. Lord, and continue to work yeah. everything out for our good. Oh, yes. Father, just bless Lord the pastors. Uh, Pastor Kent, be with him at his yes, home, yes. and uh, uh, Pastor Piper, Piper wherever yes, he is. Yes, yes. Lord Jesus, you take charge and full control because you know everything. Bless your church. Yes, Lord. Bless your church. Yes, Lord. Continue to keep your church. Yes, Lord. And continue to keep your members in one love yes. and one unity. And one fellowship, blessed Jesus, that we'll be able to continue to look to you. Uh, oh Lord Jesus, like David said, we we'll look up yes. unto the hills from whence cometh oh. all our help, all because our help cometh from the Lord, who will be in heaven and earth. earth. And I know that you're not a God to make mistakes. No. So I'll give you thanks and I'll give you praise for everything, everything. that you're going to do. Yes. And as we leave here today, Lord, some of us going to another function, be with us, grant us strength and mercy. Oh, yeah. Bless us this week and keep us for your dear name and your mercy sake. Amen. 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 Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the message of the Holy Spirit of the God, rest and abide with us all now and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Mr. Martin, and uh, thank God for blessing us in this service. I pray that God would have laid in something on your heart. It's, it's, it's a lot, and you can go home and process. But in terms of, I saw uh, there was this view that said, you know, when a cow sits down and it returns to the card, it brings back up that card, you get a chance to chew it. You good to take, thank you. And you process the wood, and you know, it's not, you won't get all that you ate in it. will come back up, you know, and I come back up, and then you'll get, you know, you'll get your nutrients. So you pray that God, you pray that God will give you teeth to chew the card as well, and and that you will get the nutrients from it, and you will bless your life. Uh, Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm just going to read these participants for you all. At this time, uh, we have the four participants. At this time, uh, Sister Alana Ravello, uh, Sister Beverly Silvester as well, Galaxy 831. We still do not know who that is, but God bless you. And uh, Sister Chrissy Mike, she's on with us before she goes to work, I believe. So, um, pray that God will continue to give it uh, uh, to us. So, uh, and as well to those who would be on YouTube and doing after, well, after it's been posted, we pray that God would bless you and we hope that the message will be sent out and you will be able to process it and also get a blessing from it. Uh, so at this time, we will let Sister Martin give the announcements for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Blessed are the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. We continue to give God the glory. Yes, yes, yes. To God the glory. Uh, okay, today's announcements are uh, Mount Rose. That is this afternoon right here. Mount Rose Independent Baptist Church. They are having their harvest this afternoon at 2.30 p.m. So I think we are 
prepared a tool for their inner life. St. Luke Independent Baptist Church at um, St. Cross Road, they are having their gifts, gift service on Sunday, May 28th at 2 30 p.m. And Sister Bernadette Bishop's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving service takes place on Saturday, that's this Saturday here, at uh, Saturday, May 6th at 2 p.m. at her home in Macaulay. Well, I, uh, our driver will work out the, um, the logistics. Okay, more than one driver. Okay, so then. Okay, so we get the information from Sister Bishop. She's here today. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just read this one. Well, let's do our announcement. So, this week Wednesday we have prayer meeting. Right. So this week is prayer meeting, and then the following week is. We continue with our Bible study. We had an interesting session last week. Impromptu, but went very well. Yeah. Went very, very well. We just bless the Lord for that um, session. God continue to bless uh, Sister Kushel and uh, her mom, Mr. Well, the family, as they continue to lead us in that session. Uh, we have an invitation here from St. George's Independent Baptist Church. At St. Julian Village, Princess Town, they have invited us to their baptismal revival service from the 15th to the 19th of May at 7 p.m. nightly, followed by their baptism service on Sunday, 21st of May, 8 a.m. They did not say where, so I don't know if they are. Uh, if they will be at this company, but I guess we'll find out that at the later date. They did not say where. They just said um, baptism on Sunday the 21st at 8 a.m. Right? Uh, so we keep that in mind. And I'd just like to, to convey thanks on behalf of Reverend Richardson. Reverend Ju Junior David Richardson asked me to just say thanks again to the members who came up and supported the revival service on Thursday night. And special thanks to Sister Ford for singing again with us. And so we just, we just I delivered his message. So thanks, and thanks to everyone who supported at that. So God bless you. Okay, at this time, let's stand and sing the doxology. Praise God from who?
and I was 27 on the 28th. So we all have a lot of April, God is in the family. But I thank God for all that he has done for me, but he is still doing, and, and, and I'm, I'm expecting him to do more for me as the time goes. As long as he spare my life to see it, I will be here to enjoy it. And thank you, Brother Mike, for the beautiful thing you have said about me. And thank God for I can't work for fellowship in here. I said, when I Reverend Richardson was my aunt's husband, Auntie Ruth's husband, so we know the brother to be the cousin of the family, you know, in law. And I can work for all that God has done for me and what he is still doing for me. And I can work for all of you who give me, who give me a good. So I I I am here today to give thanks and praise to the God of gods and the God of lords. And I can say that because I know he is worthy for all the praise and all the honor. And I, I will lift up my eyes to the ears. From my head, 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 and he will not touch my head, from 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 my head, you don't want it and to put it in the back there, but I don't see how come, but I don't know what happened. You know, but we put it here. So I will, I will go and see what happened to you. So we can go and talk and thank God for what he has done and what he has done to continue to do. God bless everyone. God bless. Amen.